Um, welcome my dear students in the session. I am Mr. Emmanuel Chazi from Wedukea, Tanzania. Uh, now today uh, we shall see now uh, the topic that is democracy uh, and here today we shall focus on uh, the advantages of democratic elections. Uh, when we are talking about the democratic elections, uh, this it is a situation or the processes where um, people they have been given the rights uh, with the, uh, the commission of, of election that uh, involve in the national elections so that now uh, readers can be chosen uh, through voting uh, so that uh, uh, through now that processes are uh, the leader to be obtained uh, every uh, every uh, every readers now should make the campaign or the meeting so that now he can he can speak uh, to the majority uh, what he will do after being select, uh, elected or after winning the, elect, the election uh, of which now uh, the election after now being conducted uh, the wins uh, will be uh, obtained and the loser will be uh, obtained also uh, so that now the the, win, the winner uh, they will reform the government so uh, here they have the the responsibility of every qualified citizen to vote people often vote because they want to bring about change to bring about changes or changes so uh, people uh, they are voting so that now to to select the leader uh, whom they trust for uh, of which now these readers, uh, there are those readers with uh, the qualities or the features that uh, they can bring changes in the community. Uh, so through that now, uh, electing in the Erecting a different political parties or con candidates uh, to office can change the type of the government. Uh, uh, through doing that now, uh, different political parties are involving in elections. Uh, example. Uh, the reader that is we could use uh, a reader that is uh, from or we can use the contester from different parties because the system now it is multi-party system uh, there is CCM, Chadema, TROP, ACT and the other political parties so uh, if those people uh, or those people from different those political parties uh, they were involved in the in the elections uh, in the general election uh, where now uh, the reader will be chosen uh, that he has the quality uh, to ensure that uh, those features or those qualities are able to be used uh, because now uh, they can they can solve the problems that hinder uh, or in faces the majority in the community so through doing that now uh, you can see now the, there will be the formation of the the, the a good type of the government and the government that will be trusted and the accountable accountable and the leaders will be responsible will be responsible in every sector where they have been chosen and to declare that they shall work for the behalf of the, the citizens uh, so therefore uh, the following are reason why democratic election are important uh, the first is they enable people to choose official in political parties and uh, the, the central government or local government. Uh, so this through conducting uh, the elections, democratic elections now, uh, that means that uh, it's related to the choosing of the official uh, official people or to, in, to, to official people or person uh, that are able now to solve the problem uh, for the government of which now uh, these people are there so that uh, they can bring changes uh, for the people and in the government and that is going to be uh, the central government or the local government and when we are talking about now the the local government uh, we are talking about the government like uh, the village uh, the village chairman uh, form his 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 government and uh, and the, the uh, now uh, when you are talking about the central government now we are talking about the mon monopolization of power uh, from the local government to the central government so um, here if after creating now the uh, the central government now uh, the local government is there to solve the problems uh, from the village levels uh, to the wadi level and until uh, until now uh, from the wadi uh, to the uh, to, from the word to the disc, disc to region, region to, to nation wide. Uh, so, why, why do I to the uh, nation wise? So, here, uh, as now it is taking place, uh, now uh, 
the good governance that is local government and central government is being formed. Also, elections strengthen democracy in a country as the leadership is changed peacefully. Uh, democracy also uh, to, uh, to take place or elections uh, in all another function of democratic elections is that it strengthens the democracy because it creates the maturity of the democracy in a particular country uh, because now leaders uh, they they agree uh, with what uh, they support to do uh, because uh, of uh, of the situation passing that elections after being maybe rules rules uh, the reader now accept it and the, and the winner now accept that they have wins and now uh, the the winner and the loser are uh, sometimes they cooperate together to form uh, uh, the, the 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 new governments uh, but uh, for for these days uh, mostly uh, the winners are those now uh, if they the a part, uh, the political part that has won the elections, uh, it's what are now creates the government. So, uh, so through doing that, through elections, democratic elections, uh, it is it strengthened now democratic in a country as uh, the leadership is changing the PCF. Uh, also, uh, the country gets an acceptable government. As the country gets an acceptable government, uh, this means that uh, the citizens now are trusty uh, the, the government because uh, the, the, the one who is in power is the leader who has been chosen with them. So uh, if people now is looking uh, or witnessing that the leader who is in power is the leader whom they trusted and they voted for, they voted for him or her, now uh, they become, they, uh, there is, uh, uh, there is uh, now the creation of the acceptable government compared now uh, to the leader who can enter in power without election, that is totalitarian government, of which uh, now uh, people uh, will not be happy uh, because of the leader who are in power. Be leaders all who are in power, they have not been chosen with the majority people. Uh, now, after looking now this uh, issue that uh, through elections, the most popular uh, representative and the party are put in power. Uh, through, uh, through referendum now, uh, people vote for or against specific issues. This helps to decide on important issues in the country. Uh, uh, so here now, uh, this shows the way how people uh, uh, vote for the against these specific issues. This helps to decide on important issues in the country. They guarantee continuous representation uh, and the accountability of elected leaders to the society, uh, or access whether there are free and fair election in Tanzania. So uh, now you can see if uh, there is uh, now uh, the democratic elections, which assess whether there are free and fair elections in the nations. Uh, so as you can see now uh, in the nations, uh, you find that there is a free and a fair election. That means that there is a democratic elections. Uh, free and a fair election, that means that people are given the rights or they have the rights to involve in the campaign uh, and the people they have the rights to involve in the meeting uh, before elections and the people uh, they have the rights to go and they vote during uh, the, the elections. So of which now uh, that is all. Uh, it is the elements or the or the, the symbolism that uh, the, that the democratic elections is taking place in a particular country. Example in 2020s, uh, the uh, the government of Tanzania are uh, involving in the national elections, whereas uh, uh, whereas leaders were elected according to their according to their. Uh, to their position uh, that they contested. Uh, example, uh, there were the elections of the, uh, the member of the parliament, uh, also there was the election of the presidents. So uh, that is an, one of the examples of which now, uh, that is, uh, it is made, it is showed that now uh, in Tanzania, there is uh, democratic elections uh, because uh, after five years we conduct uh, the general elections. So, uh, through conducting general elections uh, now, uh, it shows that in the country there is now a uh, free and a fair election in Tanzania. Uh, also, after looking at that now, uh, as we are looking at the importance of uh, democratic elections, now let us see uh, 
let us see the indicators of free and fair election in Tanzania. Uh, what are the indicators of uh, the indicators of uh, these are indicators of uh, the indicators of uh, free and fair election in the country. Uh, in the United Nations, uh, that uh, there are some elements that show that uh, there is free and fair elections. If those things uh, are not uh, appear or are not allowed to take place, that means that uh, there is no free and fair elections. Uh, so here, uh, the following some indicators of free and fair elections in Tanzania. One is elections itself. Uh, if there is election, that means that there is a free and fair elections. Uh, elections in Tanzania are held after every five years as per the constitution. Uh, so the constitution as it is uh, elaborated, it shows that in the nation that is Tanzania, after five years, the general elections take place. So as the nation, as the national constitution showed that after five years now, there should be uh, general elections and and also general elections take place that means that in the nations uh, there is the, the existence of uh, free and fair elections there are many political parties that compete in elections for different vacant states in the local and the central governments uh, so also this uh, we could say now uh, and after looking this now you can say you can say that uh, it is another element, it is another indicator which show that uh, there is, uh, it is another indicator that is, uh, uh, that is every citizen has the right to vote if, if she or he qualifies. This means that uh, any individual to qualify that uh, the one of the, of the, of the functions uh, of the features to qualify that to have to be under 18 years to above 18 years if you are above 18 years that means that uh, now you are qualified to vote also uh, then you should have uh, you should you shouldn't have the mental problems uh, that is mental retardation problem so uh, in in that is in the way that if you don't have the mental retardation problem that means you are qualifying now to involve uh, in general elections also uh, there are many political parties with this many political parties they have given the rights and the chance and they are treated all of these parties are treated equally that means that uh, example like in Tanzania we have Chadema, CCM, TLP, ACT, and whatever. So these are uh, all parties, if we will be given the chance to participate, that means that there is, uh, there is a free and a fair election because all parties are participating in general elections. Um, also now, voting is done in secretary. Uh, that is a free and a fair election. Uh, there is no one who is forced to vote for a candidate against his or her choices. That means that during uh, the voting, voting uh, and at the secretary ballot, that means that's why it is called the secretary ballot, so that now nobody who is forcing you to choose a certain, a certain contester or to choose a certain political party. It is only yourselves now, you have your willing, and then you go, then you, you vote after voting, then you... you then you withdraw, or, or you in-draw, uh, yes, yes, you in-draw uh, the, the votes, and then after uh, some hours now, uh, the votes now will be released out, and the, uh, the, the commission to announce the winner and the loser of, the, of that elections. So uh, if this is done now, uh, nobody could, could be forced to, to choose or to vote for somebody. So if this takes place in, this, in the country, uh, that means that now politics is taking place. Also, uh, the elections campaign in Tanzania. Uh, the campaign also is very important. So if, uh, if the elections camp campaign in Tanzania is taking place, that all contests contestants are uh, given enough time to vo to visit their area of elections. Uh, they publicize uh, their policies and they allow citizens to ask questions. That means that uh, now in Tanzania we have free and fair election. That means, example, uh, by 2020s uh, we had uh, this, this slogan, oh, 
uh, the policies that states that uh, Tanzania have Rwanda. So uh, the president used his his policy that Tanzania have Rwanda. So. Uh, uh, that is one of the uh, one of his policies, uh, and the, uh, now uh, they had they had the meetings and uh, and those meetings uh, and they had their campaigns in different areas in the country, whereby uh, even the citizens they had they have been given the rights uh, to continue with those problems, so that now uh, they can solve the problem. Uh, they can solve the problem uh, through. Uh, either uh, providing uh, services like uh, like water water problems that that is water supplies electricity health center and the schools uh, so uh, when now after the elections uh, so the reader they know that in a particular area during the campaign uh, they heard or they they asked the they 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 were asked questions uh, about the problem that faces the majority people in the society so that now uh, that is is very important and uh, now the problem should be solved uh, also there is a civic education for voters uh, this enable voters to be aware of their constitutional rights in the voting so uh, also, uh, there is the civic rights for the voters, education for the voters. That means that uh, the voters now are being given, are being educated before the day of elections, whereas now uh, to prevent now uh, the distractions of those uh, papers that are being prepared in special for voting for voting. So where now uh, they have been given the education before elections, that means that there won't be the distraction of uh, those papers that are used uh, for for voting and it will be put into the security ballot. Uh, so uh, through doing that now, you find that now if there is education that is being provided for the voters, that means there is a free and a fair election because uh, they are given the rights that if maybe you need to vote for Chadema, you remark you take a tick then you you put a tick maybe at the right hand side or you are maybe you need to vote to vote for CCM you put the, maybe a tick at the middle of that paper but uh, if there is no free and fair election even this education that is concerning with the uh, with that is concerning with those papers uh, people could not be given that education so uh, that is another indicators of uh, democratic elections uh, uh, also there is political tolerance the political tolerance uh, that is another elements that is another elements of uh, democratic elections uh, Democratic elections. Uh, that means that uh, yeah, that the results are respected through those who have not won respect the result of the elections. Uh, so here, that means that uh, political tolerance. That means that uh, the the people uh, who has roses, uh, those who have not won respect the result to the elections. Uh, that means that uh, there should not be. Uh, maybe the civil, the political instability, or the civil wars, uh, because of the problem that has occurred uh, due to the release of the results. Uh, so this symbolizes that in, in nations like Tanzania, we have uh, democratic elections because people are. Uh, uh, respect uh, the results of the loser and the people respect the results of the winner whereby now uh, the elections uh, now is being uh, promoted and done in such a way election Exceptions are allowed. So election are allowed. This is the means that which the election of the members of parliament or councillors may be challenged in a court of law. Uh, sometimes there could be the repetition. Uh, they could repeat. Uh, they could make the repetition uh, of of the. Uh, repetition of the elections because maybe uh, the rules are they have not uh, agree uh, with the results so that now they have to challenge uh, in the court of law uh, and then in the court of law now we decide if uh, if uh, the result is valid or invalid so then you now uh, what should be done so the court is given the rights 
to to involve in such a thing so uh uh, after looking now, uh, that is, uh, let us see now, erections procedures. What are the procedures of erections? Uh, we are talking about the erections of procedures. Uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, things that should be used now uh, to consider and to be given a, a chance that uh, that should be given a chance or to. Uh, now, my dear students, uh, we are looking now on the erections procedure. So now, when we are talking about the erections procedure, uh, we are talking about the steps uh, that uh, the erections is passing through. Uh, in Tanzania, there is an electoral commission which is responsible for the general erections. It is main duties are to supervise and coordinate the registration of voters in the presidential, parliamentary, and the civic election in the United Republic of Tanzania. So uh, here now, uh, the the voters they have been given the right to be registered uh, in the different areas where now they can be uh, recognized to the parliamental and the presidential uh, and the presidential parliamental civil and election in the United Republic of Tanzania. Also, the supervisor are coordinating the conduct and the presidential uh, parliament and the presidential and the parliamentary elections. Also, uh, review the boundaries and the democrat dem Democrat the U United Republic into various areas for the purpose of parliamentary elections. Uh, here uh, now uh, the situation that means that uh, there should be the review to show where now the boundaries of democrat and, and dem democrat the United Republic into the various area for the purpose of parliamentary elections. This means that uh, the area uh, being uh, uh, markedly so that now uh, people they could vote according to the area they perform other function in accordance with the, the role uh, number three uh, candidates for the candidates in general election condition for the candidates in general election uh, there is the condition uh, that uh, that be given to the general election that is candidates as a citizen who contested a seat in the elections uh, the candidate must qualify as per the provision of the national constitution. Uh, here, that means that, example, maybe you are contesting uh, to be the member of the parliament. The first, uh, you must be the, the Tanzanian. Second, uh, you must have uh, above 18 years. Uh, third, then you should uh, know how to read and to write. Uh, that is one uh, uh, three qualifications that are very essential for the contester that is uh, contesting in terms of uh, maybe to be the member of the parliament or to be uh, the chair village man. So uh, that is uh, also condition for the presidential candidates uh, be a citizen of the United Republic of Tanzania by birth, have attained the age of 40 years, that is presidential. So when now you are conducting to be your, uh, you, uh, you are candidates for the presidential, now you should have the age of 40 years, uh, be a member and the candidates uh, of nominated uh, by a political party. If maybe you are, can, you are a candidate of CCM, uh, now you should, uh, you should ensure that uh, the political party that is CCM, the chair, uh, now they recognize you. And uh, Chadema also, the members of Chadema, they recognize you as the members, and then you have 40 years. Uh, uh, also, uh, by a political party that to be qualified to be a member of parliament or a member of the House of the Representatives, uh, should not have been convicted by any court for the uh, offense of evading tax. Maybe you have the problem of ta paying tax, and then you have been maybe uh, you have been uh, maybe convicted by the any court any court for the if offense of invading tax. That means that uh, you will be disqualified. Uh, also, uh, be nominated by two hundred supporters who are uh, registered voters from each of ten regions. Uh, two of which must be in Zanzibar. Uh, conditions for parliamentary candidates are now uh, 
uh, the conditions for the parliamentary candidates be a citizen aged 21 years or above and can read and write in Kiswahili and English, be a member and sponsored by a political party. So here now, that means that at least you should have more than starting from 21 up to above. Have not less than 25 sponsors who are registered as the voters in the relevant constitution. So uh, here now you must have the uh, the people who has allow you, uh, who, who support you that uh, uh, you should be chosen now to be the members of the parliament. So uh, here uh, in the relevant that constitution, make a statutory uh, declaration that he or she has all of the qualification required for being a candidate. Yeah. Deposit t shilling 50,000 with the National Election Commission. That is uh, another conditions. Uh, so these conditions uh, will be for the, for the form. Should not have been convinced by any court for the offense of evading tax. Uh, uh, condition for the voters be a citizen of Tanzania, be registered as a voter, uh, be 18 years or above, or that is as the conditions. Uh, and then uh, be a citizen of Tanzania. The, uh, now, uh, to be a citizen of Tanzania, that means that you should be a Tanzanian, you should be a, a member of Tanzania. I mean, that means you have been born in the country. Uh, then, uh, a citizen of Tan be registered as the voters uh, during uh, the elections before uh, there is the uh, there is a registration that uh, takes place so uh, you should be registered so that now you can vote uh, be 18 years above to be 18 and above that means from 18 and uh, and above so be a person of sound mind be a person of sound mind that means that not have been de detained in rough coastal uh, within the, the past five years. So uh, that is uh, now uh, we are looking about the indicators of a free and a fair election. Uh, we have seen uh, importance of uh, democratic elections. Uh, now here we are looking about the condition for the voters. Uh, so, uh, my dear students, uh, we have done. So, uh, let us see now the exercise here. Uh, we have got these two questions. Uh, the questions are uh, ask your parents or oh, relatives the following questions. One, one of which it is stated that have they, uh, have they attended any political meeting? If yes, and then, oh no, then you ask them why. Uh, the second, have they voted in any elections? Why? Uh, and number three, do, do they think the election conducted in Tanzania are free and fair? If yes or no, then you ask why. And then uh, after the coming of the next session, and then you, you will explain why that now they have uh, answered according to what they wish. So uh, my dear students, uh, here I would like to end up the session. Uh, we shall meet the next time. Thank you very much for listening.